For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I know you don't want to hear this message. I know you don't want to hear from the Bible. I know you don't want to hear from God, but that is in your sin. And in your sin, you do not want to listen to God. You do not want to obey God. And the Bible says, in your sin, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And what you do not want to hear is a beneficial message that you need to hear. You need to occupy your ears and your heart to what God is speaking today out of His Holy Word. You must realize that the Bible is true. God is truer. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That what we preach to you is a beneficial message that you will die one day. And in your death you will wake up in a place called hell. Or you'll wake up in a place called heaven. And the only way to get to heaven is beyond what your scope can be. What do you believe? What do you think? And the only means the Bible says that you can get to a place called heaven is by Jesus Christ's own words that say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto the Father but by me. And you can raise your music up that you can blot out the word of God, but you will stand before God in the great white throne judgment, wishing and hoping that you would be able to come back and listen to the words of God. The Bible says to us, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ died for our sins, according to the scripture. And he was buried. And he rose again the third day to the scripture. And the more you try to block out the Word of God, the more I will get aggressive to you, and the more I will perform to get the Word of God to your people. Because I have another sidewalk over there that I can cross and stand and preach the Word of God. Because the Word of God needs to be preached. The Word of God needs to stand. The Word of God needs to be heard in your ears. There is nothing more than the Word of God that has an importance that God has sealed in His book, the Bible. That salvation must be sought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You cannot get to God with religion. You cannot get to God by thinking there is no God. Because the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. And the Bible is true, for I have tasted of the words of life. I have dined on the water of life. I have retained the Holy Spirit by the finished work of Jesus Christ. And when you have rejected, and you do not want the Bible, it only proves to your damnation that you do not have the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that if you do not have that spirit, you do not have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Joy, love, and peace that you are seeking, that you are wanting, can come to you free by God. Now I understand that there is a world, means of peace, of joy, and love. And you must pay for that. And when you can't pay for it, it's no longer available to you. But God's love, joy, and peace, and six other great fruits of God, can be yours by coming to Calvary and believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And if you can hear my voice, 
If you have ever been born of a woman, you need to believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. Without Jesus Christ, you will enter into eternity, down for hell, into the lake of fire, which burneth forever. That is the message. And that is the message going to be every week. That if you to reject Jesus Christ, the finished work, you will go to hell when you die. You are not ready for any other message but hell to you believe on Jesus. If you were to believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior, or you have, I will take you under my wings. I will grow you in the Lord with the Word of God and the Word of God alone. But you... When the Bible says, many will go the broad way that lead us to destruction, you are the many. I'm not here to preach to save people. I am here to preach to the world. And I don't want to teach the world to sing. I want to teach the world of the saving grace of the love of God, which is Jesus Christ. Everybody speaks about the love of God, the love of God, and yet it can be found in the pages of 1 John. And the love of God is His Son, Jesus Christ. The hatred of God is your religion. God hates your boasting. God hates your lying. God hates when you reject His Son, Jesus Christ, as your means of salvation. God hates when you go to church and you think church is going to get you to Him. God hates when you put money into something thinking that your money will buy you into heaven. The fact is that God hates the sin but loves the sinner is wrong, is evil. Because God does not love anybody who has rejected His Son, Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John 3, 36, He that hath the Son hath everlasting life, but he that hath not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. See, the love of God that you will come to God through Jesus Christ to be saved. It is your job as a parent to bring your children to Jesus Christ. It is your job to rely on Jesus Christ as your eternal hope. There is no other way. Life is sought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. It's not many words to say the simplicity of salvation. is the wages of sin is death. You will die because you're a sinner. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Romans 6.23, a gift is free. God is offering you right now a free gift in His Son, and that gift will get you to heaven. Anything else will not get you to heaven. You will stand as a sinner. You must come to Jesus Christ, the sinner that you are, ready to repent and be sorry for those sins. When you stand in your sins without the blood atonement of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, you will be found wanting. You will be found in debt. And that debt will be paid by you in the lake of fire that burned it forever. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. 
the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world, or you can pay for your own sin. Now I advise you to trust the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. Because the way you pay for your sin is eternal fire, eternal damnation, eternal torment, the Bible says. Who wants to burn? Who wants to suffer pain? Who wants to be tormented? Raise your hand! Say, oh, I would enjoy that! See, no one raised their hand. I would ask again, who wants pain and torture forever? Raise your hand! Oh, be so bold and stupid! Say, I would enjoy that. And yet, that is your future without Jesus Christ. Pain and suffering and torture and torment. Without the blood of Jesus Christ. You will die in your sins. You will die because you're a sinner. And you will face judgment. I think a better attitude you ought to have if you're saved. Save it for someone else. Well, grab some and pass them out. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel that Christ died for your sins, according to the scripture, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scripture. That is the only means for you to get to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. When Jesus Christ, who is God, and God is Jesus Christ, tells you there's no other way, you must come to Him. You must come to Him by faith and by belief. You don't come to Him as eating Jesus. You don't come to denying Jesus' authority. You come to Jesus Christ who is God, and God is Jesus Christ, the sinner that you are, and repent of those sins. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away, said Jesus. If you choose to reject Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will be cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever, and we that have believed will still have that word. And that word will always be true that Jesus saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation, Not only am I preaching the gospel, but I'm giving you a testimony that I have the salvation of God, and I want to spread it out. This is a testimony of someone that has believed on Jesus Christ, is washed in the blood, who is saved, and that when I die, I'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord. And that the Bible says that I have the assurance that these things are written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. I know of a surety when I die, or rapture, I know where I'm going. And God, Jesus Christ, says, you go tell them about what I've done for you. And many will not listen. Few will be to enter the straight gate. And what you're rejected right now is you're rejected the salvation of God. You're a fool. You're a fool to know that hell is damnation and to reject it. The Bible says that a fool has said in his heart, there's no God. The fear, of the, the fear of God is wisdom. 
Proverbs chapter 1. See, you Americans are all without fear. You even got a stupid sticker, no fear. And yet the Bible says for salvation you must fear God. You must fear the consequences of God being higher and mightier and holier than you, that God will pass you into hell for rejecting Jesus Christ. But no, I'm American. That will never happen. I've got a loving God that will cast anybody into his heaven instead of hell. And then you got an unholy God and unholy heaven that will be full of murderers, that will fill be rapists, will be filled with sinners, and that heaven will be no better than this earth right now. That's not heaven. That's not God. That's your own imagination by drugs and alcohol and your filthy mind. That's not God. God said, I'm holy. Be ye holy. And to be holy today is come to Jesus Christ and say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I have done wrong. I repent of my sins. I want you to make me clean. I want you to make me right as the snow so I can go into heaven. That's the only way. You can't go to church to be saved. You can't be baptized to say, you've got to trust in Jesus Christ as your salvation. The only way to heaven. The love of God. The water of life. The bread from heaven. The Almighty. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is Jesus Christ. It's not Pope. It's not Allah. It's not your name. It's the name of Jesus Christ that every knee shall bow. And every knee shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Do it today for salvation. Call upon Jesus Christ today to be saved. Don't wait for later. Because later on, if you confess Jesus is Lord, you'll be cast off into hell. And hell is forever. And I know you can hear. And what I want you to hear from my lips is Jesus Christ. I want you to know about Jesus and His saving grace. I want you to know that if you have any intentions to get to a place called heaven, you must do it by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. When the Bible says you're a fool, the fool has said in his heart, there's no God. And you will face God one day. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. You can't get off by, oh, there's no God. That won't work. And because God will appear to you and judge you. And you'll be with fault. There is no other greater word than Jesus Christ. There is no other name that I've mentioned more than Jesus Christ. Because He's the way. He's the truth. He is the light. He is the all in all sent by God. He is the love of God. He is your eternal life. And Jesus Christ is not your eternal life. He will be the wrath of God that abideth upon you. You do not want to hear this message. You do not want to hear the Bible, but you must hear about Jesus Christ. You must know that Jesus saves and Jesus alone saves. The only satisfaction of God that you can get is through Jesus Christ, His Son. The Lord Jesus Christ is able to save you, and He can save you right now. There is 
no other salvation in anything but Jesus Christ. You don't know when death is coming. It may be any second. It may be any day. But once death has crossed your path, you cannot come back and undo what you've done already in this life. Before you die, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Before you die, you must put your faith, your finished work, in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Before that last breath, it must be Jesus Christ, or it's hell. Your finished work for salvation must rise in Jesus Christ. Anything else is a lie. It's a Satan lie. It's a manly lie. Man has made religion. But Jesus Christ is God approved. You cannot enter into heaven before God by cash, check, or money order. You cannot approach God to be safe with religion. You cannot say you're going to heaven by unbelief. You can only enter those gates of eternal salvation by the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed upon Calvary according to the Scripture and was buried. And the same Jesus Christ arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. This is the same message preached by the Apostles from the resurrected Christ that Jesus saved. There is one Jesus. And yet the Apostle Paul tells us that there are other Jesuses. You've got to be assured that you've got the right Jesus. Because there is a religious Jesus. There is a devilish Jesus. But there's one God Jesus. The Jesus that suffered and died according to the Scriptures. It's what the Bible puts forth for Jesus Christ to accomplish and has accomplished. That same Jesus can save your soul today. That same Jesus can get you into glory and get you before the Father's throne. Thank you. The love of God is that God's not willing that any should perish. God does not want you to go to hell. God has given you a free will to choose. And you are given that choice today. Will you choose eternal life to Jesus Christ? Or will you choose eternal damnation by anything but Jesus? The choice today, your choice today can change your eternal outlook. Because you may die today. And if you die without Jesus Christ, it will be hell. There's no hell on earth right now. Because if this is hell, we wouldn't be here, because Bible-believing, born-again Christians do not go to hell. So don't tell me 
that this is hell. Because there's no air conditioning in hell yet. There's air conditioning here. There's no alcohol in hell, and yet you can go buy your beer here. There is no pharmacies in hell, and yet you can go to a pharmacy for pain relief. This is not hell. You can't fathom what hell will be, and without Jesus Christ, you will go to those ferments. And yes, that loving God will cast you into hell for not believing on His Son. When the Bible says He's not willing that any should perish. If you wake up and go to hell, you've done it on your own accord. If you can hear the Word of God being preached, you will go to hell by rejecting the Word that you've heard. I've already seen on house that God can help me. 10 a.m. this guy is drunk as a scum. He does not have the true joy of God. Two million dollars will not buy eternal life. I've got a mansion prepared for me by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. I've got the peace, I've got the joy of God. And the alcohol of this world makes you look like an idiot. That's only temporal, folks. You may feel happy and joyful now, but it's temporal. And yet the love of God through Jesus Christ, the love, joy, and peace is eternal. Even with problems and troubles and anxieties in this world, you can have the peace and joy of God through Jesus Christ. Or you can just stumble through life and just have problems through this life and die and end up worse troubles and worse problems. So Jesus Christ, by the salvation of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the Lamb that take away the sin of the world, I can have eternal hope and glory. The Bible says I'll have a mansion. The Bible says I will get a new body. The Bible says no more pain, no more suffering, no more tears. That's in glory. Now salvation is not going to make your life wonderful today. Salvation in Jesus Christ may add to your troubles in this world. But it's so much better than dying and waking up in hell. The love of God that is shed aboard is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no salvation in any other but Jesus Christ. Enjoy these fruits and vegetables by God, because in hell you will not have it. In hell the man says, I just want a drip of water. I just want a little drop of water to cool my tongue. Well, you guys, you got to open the Word of God and show them that they're a sinner. Show them where they're going, which is hell. I just don't go, just say the prayer. you got to make sure that person really knows what they're doing, what repentance truly is. That, that prayer, that, that simple prayer, you know, just say the prayer. You know, I'm saying, you know, I'm saying.
Well, if they want to come, if they step out right now, they're a halfway in the road to heaven. Right. I'll just, you know, make sure that I know that what they're doing, they understand what they're doing, and if they're ready to repent and get right with God and he wants to obey Him, I would say yes. But you see Christ right now, bow the knee, you don't need to tell me nothing. Don't tell me yours, you tell God it's your sin. And then your name be written in the last book of life, and they want, I'll take them under my wings, or try to find them a good church down here, which is very, very, very rare. And but step, if they were to step out right now, that's a good sign that they want to get right with God. But like I said, if I was in a church atmosphere or something like that, I would really, you have to stand, make sure they're heart, not head. The Bible says, with the heart, man, believes on the righteousness. It's never about the mind, it's never about the brain when it comes to the Bible. And they want to get right, and they're fiery. First step is, I don't want to go to hell. So you keep on going the way you're going. I told one guy, I said, listen, we were talking, I said, well, I'm going home now, I'm leaving. He said, well, wait a minute, you just, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up, I'm going home, I'm stopping. He goes, no, no, don't do that. I'll get right there. He wanted to get right there. If I were to walk away, which I wasn't going to, I was just seeing what the warnings were. And then I led him to Jesus Christ. So yeah, we we will examine and make sure. We just don't say, okay, say this prayer. We're just not a notch on our belt. Yeah, let the Holy Spirit work, not me. Yep, yep, and dwell forever. Yep. A lot of people understand it. The Bible says if you're not His, you don't get that spirit. So they look at it as like a bunch of idiots. But I think the Holy Spirit. I know. That's why we're here. Yep. 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 That's exactly right. In fact, we had last week when we came here, a little boy shot up. Dad, that crazy man's here. And it's, in a way, he's right because the Bible says what we're doing. Yelling at these people is foolish. But the message is not. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Yep. What's your name? My, my name is Glenn. Glenn. Remember that, Glenn. Put her down on our prayer list. I'm terrible with names. That's my, that's my memory book right there, my wife. Tracy and my daughter. Oh, you have six Oh, yeah. My daughter Tracy and my, I mean, my wife Tracy and my daughter Rachel Ann. I don't have those gifts. I don't, I have, I have a good Yeah, that's the one we use, the love story for children. And then this one will get ahead. This is the one that's that one, yep. when I was 12. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't really this one's well, really good too. Yeah, that's what you just yeah, yeah. This is my favorite one. I just ordered 5,000 trick tracks to you know, keep us going. I've been trying to, I planted over there by the, um, sold over by the, um, uh, 240 North Street. Yep. I just put them down, but then, I've Amen. got, Seriously. Mark chapter 4, and you're putting the seed yep, out. Yep, planting the seed. And you can't control the seed, and you don't know. Somebody else to water. And, and you know the one thing about saying God is, a lot of people, they look at this, it's, it's a failure. No one comes out. I don't know. Oh, I'll know in glory if yeah, anybody... God gives the increase, not a... Yeah. So I may be watering, or I may be planting. You may be planting or water, we don't know. But when we get to glory, I don't know how if they do reject at the Great White Stone Judgment, i got to stand up and say, hey, listen, God, I told them. They, will, they, don't, they don't like me. But they're going to hear my voice again. They don't realize it. And they, I, I don't know, but they may even hear the message again that I preached to them week after week. If God will open the book and He will say, "Listen," they'll say, "Oh, I never knew." Okay, come up here, preacher, and tell them what you've been telling them every week. And you imagine they don't like me. The last words they hear is God and me telling them, "Hey, yeah, you did here." I'm not here to save them. I'm just here to preach the gospel. That's it. But it's wonderful to see that you're working too in the field. Well, I don't have to give. Hey, I don't track. I don't either, but I got my sign and my track. The gospel yeah, tracks. Track. And they work. Tick tracks are right. They do work. They do get red. Oh, yeah. oh they they're just so expensive. That's the only thing. Yeah. Um, but fellowship track league, you can get free. You, you can get free once the fellowship track league. I used to like the fellowship Yeah. 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 Just shipping alone, but yeah, what you're doing right now, you are doing the work of God and God. Yep. Oh, we all fail. I fit. If, if, I, if I meet somebody, it's like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't give them the gospel, I can stand out here and yell. 
My wife will stop. We'll walk out of Walmart. I'll lose her at Walmart because she's giving them the whole people waiting for the bus. Lynn! <laughs> Lynn! Yeah. His name's Skyly. He said Tracy and, and Rachel, but that's if you don't need to contact us in any way. Okay. And I got videos yeah. on YouTube from Genesis to Revelation, and we're starting all back over again, all kinds of topics. Christmas, Santa Claus, all that's on my YouTube. Good to hear you from you, Lynn. Thank you for doing your job. Thank you. We're doing the call I can't do. All right, you have a good day now. Do you realize your death is coming? And you don't even realize when it will happen. I wonder how many, how many people in the four years we've been here are now in hell, have died and gone to hell thinking, oh, if I only believed that man. That man that I hated is telling the truth. And if there's anybody like that, you know that person that did business with you right here in Daytona Beach Farmer's Market, you know what he's saying in hell today? Preach it more hard. I don't want those vendors. I don't want my customers to come here. That man is preaching the truth. The Gospel of Luke. That rich man in hell has no more mercy, has no more grace. He is not partying. He is not drinking alcohol. And he doesn't care for his friends. And his friends do not care about him. The Bible says that hell is darkness. You will not see your friends. You'll just suffer without God, without mercy, without grace. And all you need to do is come to Jesus Christ and believe on the finished work, the gospel that Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. God has made salvation simple. Have the Word of God preached to you. Believe on the Word of God that has been preached to you. And attain eternal salvation through Jesus Christ. That's it. Well, what happens if I do believe on Jesus? You don't go to hell. And not only do you not go to hell, after you die, you'll get a new body. You'll get eternal life. With no more pain, no sorrow. No need for any medication. No more tears. No tormenting. Peace, joy, love, long-suffering. The perfect will of God is Jesus Christ for you to believe on Him. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, and yet many of you will not, and you will go to hell. And you cannot get to heaven by what you think. You cannot get to heaven on what you believe outside of Jesus Christ. You will burn in the lake of fire for anything but the salvation brought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other salvation wrought by God. And you better hear and you better open.
open your eyes and open your ears and your heart to God. He must be born again. That must be by the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You cannot come to God as a good person. The Bible says there is none good. No, not one. You must acknowledge before God that you are a sinner. You must repent of them sins. You must turn from them sins. You must bring them sins to Jesus Christ. There is nothing that can wash away your sins but the finished atonement of Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You can't do anything. You can't show God anything to get to heaven. You must come to God by Jesus Christ to be saved. You must come with your heart and with your mouth. You must come to the biblical Jesus, the scriptural Jesus. The Jesus that is being preached to you right now. Religion cannot save you. Saying there's no God is no effect before God that will be in your view at judgment. You will stand before the God that you deny. Prepare to meet thy God. Oh, there's no God. It's not going to get you off. Because there is a God. And you will give an account to that God that you don't believe in. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that was born a Jew of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem about 2,000 years ago. Salvation is not Baptist, it is not Catholic, it is not Islam. Salvation is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The same Jesus Christ that can save your soul is the same Jesus Christ that gives you the fruit and vegetables you're buying right now. I bet you you have not even thanked Him for His bounty of blessings upon us. The same God that can save you is the same God that gives you the fruit and vegetables. Imagine something that God has given you, you are hearing the Word of God and you reject and you are thankless. That's foolish. It's foolish to die and go into hell when you have been told how not to. Come now, let us 
reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You got a sin condition. You have been born with a birth defect called sin. And the wages of sin is death. And before you die, you must receive the gift of God, which is Jesus Christ our Lord. It does not come automatic. You've got to step out and receive Him. If you do not receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will suffer the wrath of God. The same loving God will provide wrath upon you by rejecting Jesus Christ, His Son.